Hello, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Olga Petrina. I'm a practicing rheumatologist in New York City, and I'm here with you today to share some updates from 2021 ACR meeting. Today, I would like to share an informa some information from the uh, abstract 0369, which talks about uh, pregnancy complications in patients with ankylosing spondylitis. Typically, when we talk about pregnancy complications in rheumatology, we think about conditions like lupus, scleroderma, or other connective tissue disorders. Well, uh, inflammatory arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis, all these like, seemingly are more benign in terms of pregnancy. Interestingly enough, uh, this uh, Irish registry presented in this poster uh, speak to the opposite. Actually, in this particular uh, registry, out of 220 pregnancies that were recorded, only 166 resulted in live birth. Uh, risk of um, miscarriage in this re registry was 20 0.5%, which is a quite high risk. And about 58% of the pregnancies resulted in complications. Out of all of these pregnancies, 11% had more than one complication, which uh, speaks about quite a higher levels of um, poor pregnancy outcomes than we usually would think of inflammatory arthritis. Uh, when it comes to this per particular complications, we uh, see that the risk of C-section was seen in about 11% of patients preterm delivery close to 11%. And then for those uh, fetal complications, the risk of NICU admission was about 11.5%, which is all very high numbers. And that would be interesting to see the deeper analysis um, of those risk, um, uh, risk factors that contribute to these complications. For example, disease severity uh, treatments used, although they're not available in this particular poster. Lastly, uh, they report a high prevalence uh, or rather low prevalence, prevalence of breastfeeding in this particular uh, cohort and 33% of the women were breastfeeding only. Again, we don't understand the reasoning about low uh, level of breastfeeding. It could be the medications patients use or they're concerned about the side effects. Uh, or concerns for the, uh, for the exposure of the newborn. Uh, it would be interesting to see this data going forward. All in all, I find this uh, quite interesting and I think it would trigger uh, more study and more observation in pregnancies and ankylosis spondylitis in the future. I hope you find this interesting and if you do, please follow us on Room Now.